Okay, so in this video, I just want to go over some software running on build 0.2.7 Project Neon on the Pi 4. So this is the same uh, version that I sh showed in my video yesterday, and I just installed some software and some other stuff like that. So first of all, I'm going to show the WR control panel, and this panel... This version is in beta still. It hasn't been totally released yet, so just um, watch the Discord server to see when it will be re released. But there's going to be like an app store in it. So if you go over to applications, there's these web browsers, there's these different utilities, and there's Steam. And these apps, most of them are ARM64, so they run natively on here the windows does not have to emulate them so that makes just their performance a lot better and makes them work better so he is going to be adding more apps and just making this a lot better so i've installed all of these apps here most of them at least and i'll show you guys how they work so i install chromium with there you just hit that install button and it installs it so i hit launch Here we are. So Chromium, I still haven't decided yet if I like Edge better or Chromium better. I might be going towards Edge because it just seems a little bit more snappier to me, but both are still seem really good. Like look at that. Just I search something, I can know it opens up straight up. Well, yeah. Like, on Edge, I don't seem to be getting those weightings or anything. It just seems to be loading up. And I, it's not my internet. It was just the browser, I think. Like, but it's um, Chromium and Edge pretty much the same. It comes pre-installed with Edge Arm 64. And if you like that, just go for that. Like, because it seems so smooth and so just nice like this browser is great so I think so this browser is just really smooth and fun to use on Windows on Raspberry Pi so if we go to some other software I have LibreOffice here so off Microsoft Office does work too you guys can do that if you have a subscription instead of LibreOffice. I don't have a subscription, so I'm just going to be using LibreOffice. But the performance should be around the same. You shouldn't be seeing much difference in it at all. So if I go open up a writer document. Here we are. You see, it actually does not take that long to open up as you expect. And then if I just like my typing, and then I can just make it bigger, change the color, change the font. You see? It's actually really, like, I think I could use this to type out stuff. Like, I could use this to type out papers or do any work like that. This is totally usable and for that, for those processes. So let's go over and look at the PowerPoint version now. So I don't want to save it. Let's just go to the presentation one and see how that one performs too. So let's just select a template just to see what happens. Here 
here we are. We got our template now. You can type on here too. You can change the paragraph style. And this is emulating. This is x86. This is not an ARM application. So personally, I'm surprised with this performance and I'm impressed and happy that you can use LibreOffice on here or Microsoft Office. So that's really good that it does work this well. So I don't want to say that. So let's go down to the next one. So I installed Raspberry Pi Imager on here just to show you, to test out and see if we actually could flash an operating system to a USB stick or a SD card. So I'm going to be flashing this to a USB card that I, I mean USB stick that I have plugged into my Pi. So let's just go choose OS and let's go to Raspberry Pi OS. Let's choose our SD card. That's my SD card and let's see if it actually does write it. I mean it also has to download the operating system because it's never been downloaded on this. That does make the speed slower obviously. So it says one. I'm just gonna let that go in the background right now. And let's go to some other applications. So I have Discord the app here and then I have it in the web. I'm gonna do a comparison and show you guys what one works better on Windows and Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now I got both of those apps opened and the Raspberry Pi Imager, just to show you guys, it's all already flash 40%. So the Raspberry Pi Imager is totally functional on Windows and Raspberry Pi. So since you see, saw on this now, I'm just gonna cancel the write so that it doesn't make my system a lot slower. So let's first go to the app and show you guys how how it performs. So the scrolling honestly isn't that good. You see this, it's kind of struggling and just really lagging through every little bit. See, it's even having a hard time of loading. But thankfully, if I go over to the web browser, Look at this, the scrolling is great. I can click on a new tab and it loads up quick. Like This is actually good performance for Discord on the Pi. Like, so if I, I can switch over to a different server too. And look at this, it just scrolls right up there. I can see all of the old messages even. I can go to a different tab. Yeah, so if you want to use Discord on Windows and Raspberry Pi, do not use the desktop app. Definitely use your web browser. So, just the desktop app is, this is so much better than the desktop app. Like, I can just switch through everything, and it's so nice and smooth. That's a, a really good thing that I enjoy with using Discord on this. So, for the next app, I have Rufus. Which Rufus I installed through here, right here, and this is an ARM64 app, so it runs great on the Pi, and you can use this to flash OS's up instead of Raspberry Pi Imager, because it m might perform faster. I don't have anything to test it with right now, but it's cool to have it running on the Pi, and just that you can do it. So that's enough for that. And then we have Chromium, which I showed before, which is just another great web browser for Windows and Raspberry Pi. And then I installed OBS Studio. So this obviously doesn't perform that great on the Pi, but I just wanted to show you guys how it does perform just to give you guys an idea. So I have it opened up right here. Let's just make that show us the whole screen instead of there. There we go. And then if I go down here to start recording,
So it looks like I'm re recording my screen right now. If I look right there. Yeah. So let's just click on this bar right here. So surprisingly enough, it's not making the system crazy slow when I'm recording. It's not as good as it usually is, but it's actually still usable. Well, let's see how the video shows it too. So I can go through here, do different stuff, and then to stop it, I'll open up OBS and let me click stop recording. And it says stopping. So it looks like it's done now. So let's go and so just go over to the file explorer. Go and then let's go over to um, videos. That's where it saves it to. This is the latest one. So VLC is pre-installed on here too. Just so you know, that will be your default media player. It is ARM64. So let's see how it looks. <laughs> it did not capture everything. It just captured the beginning and then just didn't capture the rest. So OBS looks like it's a no-go for the Pi. So if there is an ARM64 screen recorder, that probably would work better than OBS. But it's not a huge deal. And then we have Paint.net, which I also installed through the WRC CPU, and it's right here. And this is ARM32 instead of ARM64. But it it still doesn't have to emulate it, so it performs well. So if we open up a... Let's open up a picture. Here's a Raspberry Pi 4. And then, like, if we get a pencil, get some coloring... This red is kind of thin, but if you can't see it, it's working total like total full speed, I think. And so you could edit your pictures and do different stuff with Paint.net on your Pi for running windows it's a totally yes you can do this it works great <laughs> I'm just scribbling on it but it does work well and we just close that I do not want to save it and then let's go over to hill climb racing so this is just a free app that you can install from the Microsoft Store and I make it smaller mode because you'll get better performance if it's not full screen So let's just start up this race. So look at this. It's actually playable on Windows and Raspberry. I know this isn't like a real huge game or something, like a Steam game or something. I don't really play games, so I don't have any to test. So sorry for that. But you see this running, and it runs really good. So I did install Roblox to test out. I don't really want to get into showing that because it honestly wasn't playable. I mean, you, you can play it if you disable lots of settings and play light games and stuff you probably could play it but i'm not huge into that stuff so i'm not going to show it and then we, for last for the last app we have 7zip and 7zip is arm 64 too so it works great and just to show you guys one thing with 7zip let's open up here let's go to pictures let's do that
I was gonna try to make a zip, but it's not showing up. But yeah, and then one more thing, Paimon, which is I showed yesterday, but I'm just I really love this app and it shows you your system temperature and a lot of great information like that. And I'm just loving this Windows on Raspberry Pi. It looks like if you want to use this for simple tasks, it could be a daily operating system. I'm not lying, like typing on LibreOffice was not bad. Flashing an operating system with a Raspberry Pi Imager was good. Discord works well on the web. YouTube works well. Rufus works well. I mean, tons of apps actually work well. This has come a long way since the beginning of this, and I'm really happy to see what the future will be like for Windows and Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching, and please hit, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe.